Shane with the simplegig.com educating and training not entertaining and complaining just another quick low budget video note strategy to share with you um, so bulking so Lodell most of you are not familiar with Lodell but it is high-end food deliveries it's high-end restaurants it's not fast food um, you know and oftentimes if you get there in a hurry you're gonna sit and wait but it pays really well so here's a quick story 11 a.m. this morning I'm getting going I'm getting moving I'm already on Lodell I know I'm not gonna get nothing I know the chances are slim but if I do it's gonna be one really good order so it's you know quality versus quantity Lodell pays really well but it's not back-to-back -back orders maybe in the future it will grow to be but let's see so I'm on Lodell but at, I'm taking my time and I'm not in a big hurry. I notice a surge starting very close to where I live. So then I kick it into high gear. I get out the door as fast as possible. I drive into that surge. Sure enough, by the time I got into it, it was up to $5. I went online on Uber. And now I've captured that $5 surge. And what do you think happened? Got a Lodell order. So what do you do? If you want to retain that $5 surge, so I switched to Uber Eats and turned off rides, right? You might have to go on both Uber Eats and rides, then close the window, then open it back up and turn off rides. Sometimes you have to do it that way. And now you've captured the $5 surge you've switched it to eats because if you have an uber eats order that buys you that's a little less anxiety rather than you know if somebody's on the sidewalk waiting for a ride then you gotta go you've got but now you've captured the five dollar surge ran over to the lodell order which was a sandwich shop and some coffee the delivery was only a few blocks knocked that out then switched back on to rides but I also kept Uber Eats on so I captured that surge went and knocked out the order but anyway the idea is switching over to Eats gives you a little bit of leeway and you retain that surge and then went back to rides and I kept it on rides and Eats just to keep that bigger fishnet and it ended up being in a $20 Uber Eats order so knocked that out so anyway that's a strategy you can use to retain that surge when you're in it, when you have, when you're bulking different things and you've got leeway with something like Lodell that usually takes a long time. Anyway, Shane with the simplegig.com, drive towards your dreams.